Researchers at the University of Liverpool, have revealed new information about the formation of Giant's Causeway. Geoscientists identified the temperature required for geometric columns, to form from cooling magma cracks. Such columns can be seen at Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, and Devil's Post Pile in the US. Geometric columns are formed from a variety of volcanic rock types. They take shape while the rocks contract and cool, the result of which is regular arrays of prisms or columns. A report on the new research said, columnar joints are amongst the most amazing geological features on Earth, and in many areas, including Giant's Causeway, they have inspired mythologies and legends. One of the most enduring and intriguing questions facing geologists, is the temperature at which cooling magma forms these columnar joints. This was the question the University of Liverpool researchers answered in a new analysis, which was published in Nature Communications. The scientists undertook the research to learn the temperature of the rocks, when they cracked apart and formed the stepping stones people can observe today. To address this question the scientists designed an experiment, to demonstrate the process of magma cooling. As it cools, magma accumulates stress and contracts. This happens until it eventually cracks. The researchers used basaltic columns that were from Iceland's age of Jalajokull volcano for the study. The report said, the scientists designed a novel apparatus to permit cooling lava, gripped in a press, to contract and crack to form a column. These new experiments demonstrated that the rocks fracture, when they cool about 90 to 140 degrees Celsius below the temperature, at which magma crystallizes into a rock, which is about 980 degrees Celsius for basalts. This means that columnar joints exposed to basaltic rocks, as observed at the Giant's Causeway and Devil's Post Pile amongst others, were formed around 840 to 890 degrees Celsius. The report explained that the new research is central to scientists' understanding, of how stable volcanic constructs are. Additionally, the report adds to what researchers know about heat transferals within the Earth. Volcanology professor Yen Lavallee said, the temperature at which magma cools to form these columnar joints, is a question that has fascinated the world of geology for a very long time. We have been wanting to know whether the temperature of the lava, that causes the fractures was hot, warm or cold. I have spent over a decade pondering how to address this question, and construct the right experiment to find the answer to this question. Now, with this study, we have found that the answer is hot, but after it solidified, 